So today I'm gonna show you, I don't know how many, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight ways that you can use the GOAT. So just a little bit of background information on the Z-Man GOAT, it comes in three sizes. There's a baby GOAT, which is the smallest one, I'll show you here in a second. There's a regular GOAT, and then there's the Billy GOAT, which is the big one. Though. Just so you can get some perspective, this is the baby GOAT, this is the GOAT, and this is the big guy the four and a quarter billy goat right here. You see, it's a really, really versatile lure. I mean, I don't even think all of these eight ways that I'm about to show you, I don't think these are the only ways that you can use this bait, but this is just some applications that I've actually used with the goat. I'm gonna walk you through them and show you exactly how I like the rigging. Now, like always with anything that's elastic, I like to use super glue. Now I'm gonna use these baits as soon as I'm finished with them, so I'm not gonna use super glue today. I always say this in my videos, if you don't know how to use super glue, fishing is not gonna be one of your problems. Just put a little bit around the collar, slide the elastic up on it, and it's there. It's golden for a very, very long time. So here's the bait right here. You can see this is, uh, this is the regular goat that I have here. This particular color is called hot snakes. You see it has like a sort of, it's a little louder than watermelon red on top with the green pumpkin back, but it has a little bit of blue flake, like a, I guess sort of like a uh, amber or I don't know, some kind of dusty flake in it that gives it a real nice hue on the backside of it. But of course, this rig is perfect for just your good old fashioned standard Texas rig. When you're going down the bank, just something rigged like this, this is a half ounce. You can use as little as a three sixteenth or an ounce or eighth of an ounce. Just whatever you like to use going down the bank for a Texas rig. A straight shank hook, like a four ounce straight shank hook, seems to be the right size for the goat to me. And you just rig it up there on it like so. Just a standard Texas rig. One tip I always like to say is to bury your hook in the elastic. This plastic is like really soft, so there's no reason for you to. Uh, to kind of try to tech expose it or anything. Elastic really doesn't work that great in my opinion, tech exposing. It's plenty soft to where you can just rig it up just normally and get good hook penetration. So that's my probably one that everybody already knows and everybody's already used. Flip it around wood, cover, docks, grass, whatever you want to do. Just fishing it this way is always going to work fine. A lot of people call this a wobble head, uh, whatever you like to call it, but this guy, swing head, wobble head, this is a good way to fish it too. On this one, I'm using a watermelon goat. You can use the billy goat, you can use whichever one you want. Just make sure you get the right size hook. This one has a four out hook, rig it right up on top of there. You want it to stay since you're gonna be making forceful casts. Put you a little bit of super glue right there on the head, rig it through, and just like when I was talking about the Texas rig, I would suggest that you bury the hook in this guy. Something like this, a lot of times you might be dragging it like on shell bars, if you're ledge fishing or something like that. What you could do, you could just go ahead and poke the hook all the way through because you're probably not gonna get hung up. Just just poke it all the way through like that. Just, just leave the hook completely exposed. That wouldn't be a problem if you're fishing not around structure, but if you're fishing around any kind of lay downs, brush piles, or so, anywhere you think you might get snagged, probably just bury your hook in the plastic and I promise you'll be okay. This is a half ounce wobble head swing out, uh, swing head with a four out hook. Situation number two, you can use the Z-Man Goat right there. Then thirdly, it's probably my favorite way to use it, is on a uh, on a buzz bait here. This is a old school booger man. This is an old, old one right here. I'll keep these buzz baits and patch on them and, and put new blades and try to keep the hook points from rolling over. Uh, but for that, I usually use just a white goat as well, the 375. What I do like to do with the goat is I usually take a pair of scissors and I usually cut about two of the egg sacs off. You see there's they're serrated right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like nine little egg sacs all the way down the body of the plastic. I usually like to cut off about two or three of those I think it just shortens up the bait just perfectly. These aren't the best pair of scissors. I think I just cut off three. I think two is about the perfect number. And it also, it depends on what's, uh, what's the perfect size 
you know, what, what hook you have on your buzz bait. A lot of people, when I do this, they say, well, why wouldn't you just use the baby goat if you're going to cut off two uh, pieces of the plastic? Well, the reason is the baby goat doesn't have enough plastic. Usually I'm going to be using this buzz bait to skip and also just having you know, a lot more plastic on it. It skips. Uh, it, it just planes off better. So what I'll do that and you can kind of knock the edges off of this. If you got a better pair of scissors than these little kindergarten crayon scissors I got here, you can knock the edges off of this so it looks a little bit better. But that's what I like to do. The, to me, just the baby goat doesn't have doesn't have the bulk right here so you can uh so the so the buzz bait can get on plane really good so buzz bait is my third or fourth way that i like to use it then we get into some of the pot that are more like straight up ufc bass fishing techniques just straight up punching you know uh i'll use uh this is a owner jungle flipping hook with an ounce and a half sinker this is a great punching bait you can use this to punch heavy vegetation matted grass this is a really good bait. This is watermelon red. I think the goat is the perfect size, just the regular, the middle one, because you don't want a bait that's too big because it doesn't punch through very well. And it's got enough body in it that it holds the hook well. So you're not constantly snagging up around reeds and, and uh, you know, in the hydrilla, whatever you're flipping, whatever the aquatic vegetation you're flipping. So an ounce and a half sinker, straight shank four or five alt hook you can use you can use the smalls or three alt three to five alt hook works just fine in this guy you can peg it with whatever you like to peg it t-stop or bobber stop i prefer t-stops with the sinker this size and uh flip any kind of heavy vegetation that you want it works good for that so you know i wasn't going to do any type of creature bait video and then not include it being used as a chatterbait trailer so what I have here is a Z-Man Hot Crawl Jackhammer Chatterbait. And for that one, the same one, I'll use the GOAT trailer for it. Probably use best trim down. Now, on this for a trailer, uh, trailer for a Chatterbait, you can use, this is the Baby GOAT. You can use the Baby GOAT for this guy if you, if you choose to. I still like a little meat, and I like the bigger flappers on the GOAT personally. So uh, typically what I'll do is I'll just cut down... The goat. I'll usually cut about three egg sacs off the goat. Make sure you split his little his little legs there. And you have a double keeper. You can see on jackhammers, if you don't already know, you have a keeper on the front and the keeper on the back as well. Slide him up on there. And always pull him up and over the keeper. And that thing will never come down. So you can see I like to have my little legs. I like th to me the perfect length is when the little legs are just beyond the end of the skirt. So right where the skirt ends is where I want my legs to start. So uh, of course, the goat on a chatterbait it works. I promise you. Then we're going to get back to some more old school techniques. A uh, a Carolina rig. So this is a little hard to show on camera here, but I like to take uh, use it for a Carolina rig. This is for this I like to use like an offset hook. This is a three alt. You can use a four alt offset hook with just the regular 3.75 goat. And just rig it up there, Texas rig, put it on a half ounce, five sixteenth ounce sinker. Uh, I prefer for Carolina rig and I like an offset hook. I just think it hangs a little less because usually I'm dragging it around on brush and rocks and stuff. And just, uh, just rig him up. We got plenty of colors that work really good for that, but that's my setup. You know, I'll use, I'll come to a tungsten sinker I don't have my swivel rigged up here. I just got to peg it just to show you how I'm rigging it. But usually I would go about a three foot leader, you know, 24 to 36 inch leader with the goat rigged like that with a uh, with an offset hook. If you watch my channel any at all, you know, I really like to throw. I really love to throw spinner baits a lot and you can use the baby goat. The baby goat is a is a really good spinner bait trailer. This color right here is called the deal. And uh, this is one I've actually been throwing. It's the, I only have one left in this color because I used it a bunch here recently. So I'll just take him. You can rig it either vertical, I don't know, we'll say vertical or horizontal, which, which means, you know, you can rig it either way. You can rig it like this so it looks like a little brim going through the water. I'll show you both ways. Rig it up and have him. You can see you can rig it that way. You know where where his little you see how his little kickers are 
just like a bait fish or you can turn if you want to slow the bait down and uh, get it to track a little slower just rig it straight up and down like this alright and then you got it pretty much parallel with your blades and that'll slow it down and it'll have a little slower sink rate so spinner bait trailer I prefer the the baby goat actually I think it has a little bit more subtle action but the baby goat on a spinner bait especially the finesse style spinner baits that's a great spinner bait trailer and then lastly I have a swim jig you know swim jig trailers are uh, are very important because a lot of times the fish will come up and get the tails of a swim bait trailer. I think they're just more after that. Of course, any of these baits, the fish could get the tail of it. But for the swim jig trailer, that's one you want to make sure you get it because typically you're moving that bait kind of fast and towards the top of the surface. So I like to use just a white Z-Man goat behind my swim jigs. I rig them up there. I like to rig them, uh, I guess that would be horizontal. So, you know, like this. It's the way I like to rig them. That makes sense to you guys. I think that helps the bait stay up higher in the water column. And it's the perfect little tails that kick along. And they every time they're going to kick exactly how they're supposed to, which is super important. I can't stand making a skip or making a perfect cast with my swim jig and then my kit, my tail's not kicking, kicking right. So the Z-Man Goat on a uh, swim jig, that works really good. That's eight ways that you can use this particular bait right off the top of my head so you can see this bait is super versatile z-man goat can be using that was eight different ways i mean it's a lot of different ways you can use the bait so if you've used it a different way that i didn't list here drop me a comment in the comment section let myself know and everybody else watching know how you like to fish your z-man goat if you can't find it in a tackle store where you live Check out the description box. You can buy it from me at shopblat.com. I'll leave a link in the description box as well as the comments for a place for you guys to pick up the goat. Let me know how you catch them. All right.